What's up, y'all? Yeah. My mater plant. <laughs> it's coming on up. These things. <laughs> oh. Well, I was doing this video because I finally got my package just a few months ago. Uh, my boots. On the package, it said come out of Cedar Road, New Jersey, but all the emails and stuff I got from Wish said it shipped out of Wood Ridge, Illinois, which is uh, 75th Street and jo Joliet Road, Route 53. That's Chicago, really. Uh, but it took almost two and a half weeks to get here. It sit at Wood Ridge for, for like nine days. And I uh, sent Wish a message. And I still haven't got it. And I don't know what they did. And then they come back and say, We resolved your problem. And they give me a link to go check the tracking number, which I already had that. Every time I check tracking, it, it's still sitting in Wood Ridge, Illinois. And when, when they finally shipped it from there, I figured it'd come straight to Kentucky. Nope. It went to Queens, New, New York. And sit there for uh, about five days. Well, not five days, about four days, I guess. And then they shipped it to Kentucky. Oh. Um, yeah, it may, it may have come from New Jersey, man, but I never seen anything about that. On the email, it went to New Jersey to Woodridge. I think it's the mail dropped the ball again. Let's see right there, uh, Little Falls State Route, Suite Four, Cedar Road, New Jersey. Yeah, I think it's the mail dropped the ball again, as usual. But that, that first time I got a message to wish, I said, no one back. I said, it's either it's somebody lost it or somebody stole it. <laughs> I don't know what they did. They got back to me in about, I don't know, a couple of days. Saying, oh, we resolved your problem. We just sent them messages back for them. I said, it re they resolved my problem. And no, they didn't. What well, did you resolve? They <laughs> still said, whatever they did, I think they just said they did something. They didn't do anything. But, uh, you see right there. Uh, 75th Street. Enjoy it, State Route 53. <laughs> I thought it said Wood Bridge, but Wood Ridge. Um, ain't got much more of this. Got the engines on, and got all scenes around the field. Got the landing gears on each one. I'm doing something else over there. It's a, I'm going to wait till you get down there done and I'll show you over there. <laughs> I ain't showing nobody yet. Uh, yeah, but... My new boots. It's just like these. I think they got the camouflage top. 
Uh, uh, the mayor of our United States Postal Service dropped the ball again. I got three packages ready to go out next month. We'll get back on that. I didn't, didn't send none out this month. So, try to make up for it a little bit next month. Two of them in the states and one's across the pond. You know when they get them. You know when they know whenever they get them. So, yeah. I ain't felt good for the last damn week. belly been hurting. And I woke up this morning. I thought it was because I wasn't sleeping. In the last week I ain't. I ain't slept real good. I thought it was that finally catching up to me. I think that was part of it, but I still feel my stomach's kind of screwed up. I don't know. Just feel awful. Uh, but I got to read that shot I have to take every Wednesday at Old Zempic. <sighs> Reading the thing saying it's the newest, uh, newest thing in losing weight, dieting or something. Yeah, and I see why. And I know. I remember that doctor of mine telling me it may make you sick at your stomach or nauseate for a while until you get it in your system. Yeah, it, it, it does. Can't eat very much and I start gagging me. It ain't gonna hurt. I need to drop some pounds anyway, but damn, I have to go through all that sick feeling and all that all the time. Shoot. I called and got into that new place that she's going to or went to. I gotta go for a Medicare wellness check first, which is July 3rd on payday next month. And then I go back to see her August 24th. I got two more shots of that exemplar play if she was supposed to call in some more, but my insurance may not have covered it. I don't know. Anyway, I'm blabbering on. <sighs> yeah, I meant to stay outside here a minute. Eight minutes, so. <clears throat> I need to get motivated. <clears throat> Bumblebee, there's a nest of them <clears throat> underground, right, right beside the back porch here. I run the mower up in there a little ways to cut all that, and boy, you ought to seen all the bumblebees come out of there. <laughs> they were flying around the mower trying to sting the mower, to push mower. They're all over these things. I think that's where most of them's coming from. You see them laying down that grass, and then they, they go down underneath it there somewhere. But I, I got a mow grass today. I meant to do it yesterday, but I really didn't feel like it, and I really don't feel like it today. But it needs it really. <clears throat> Damn, a bunch of grass. Don't you look? That old boy cleared that fence real well back this winter. And look at all the morning glories coming up down through there. That's what all in me. All the way down through there. <laughs> morning glories. 
the different different ones, different colored ones. That look real good so later late summer. Damn little walnut tree there coming up. Yep. And the squirrels bury their walnuts all around. They forget what to do with half of them. And then you start seeing them little walnut trees popping up here and there. I got another one up there I need to dig up. Really ain't too hot today yet. I felt pretty good yesterday, but... Man, a couple of days before that, I, it was humid and just miserable. I don't like being outside when it's real humid. Well, yeah. that's some of this shit back here I need to trim. I ain't doing it today. Where my tiger lilies? Oh, man, I guess I eat up all of it. I guess I might cut most of this mimosa tree down. There's some shoots coming off the bottom here, but the top ain't, ain't look like it's dying. Yeah, cut them down and lower the can, I guess. Oh, that hell, that big tree, there's part of it that ain't got nothing coming out on. And this one here. One there. Now, that's a mulberry tree. It just come up there on its own. I don't know, it's been four or five years ago or something. All right, anyway. I had to cut this locust tree down some the branches was hanging way over. Looked like something bent them over. I got clip them back. Well I guess I get out here. I can tarp my mower. Do what I can with it. It's well, I ain't gonna jinx it, but it it's been doing it. I don't, I can only turn right, can't turn left. So if I want to go left, I got to keep backing up, backing up until I get the direction I want to go. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess that's it. Blabber long enough, y'all. See y'all. Bye.